Hi, I'm Lynn Clark and I'm a master's student at Derry Galway and today I'm going to give you a basic intro to views. In the last video I showed you how to create a content type for publication content. Since then I've added a few publications here and I've also added menu links so that they show up under my publications menu item. This is nice because I can see all of my publications on their own page but it would be also really nice if I could see a listing of my publications maybe with the actual journal that they were in listed on my publications main page. So I'm going to show you how to create a list of content like that. I'm going to use a contributed module called Views to make this list of content. So I need to go ahead and download and enable that module. I'm using Drush, the command line for Drupal, but you can also just go to the website and download it that way. And I'm going to enable views now, but you also want to enable views UI, the user interface for views, so that we can go ahead and create our lists of content through the user interface instead of just with code. So now that it's enabled, we can go ahead and go to the structure pane and go to views. And I'm going to add a new view. The only thing we need to add on this page is the view name, which I'm going to call publications. Um, and you can add a view description. That will help other people that are working on your site. And now I get to the default pane for this view. With views, you can create one kind of list of content, like I want all publications. But you can display it differently in a couple of different places. Like if I wanted to have a block that would go in my main content on the publications page, but a different block that would go in the sidebar on other pages. I could have each of those lists of content have different information associated with each publication in the list. But anything that's common between the multiple displays, I want to have in my default. First, since this is a list of publication content, I want to go ahead and limit this to just publication. So I'm going to add a filter. And I'm going to just look at node possibilities here. And I want to filter by node type. And I want to say it's one of publication type. So I'm going to update that. And it says that I'm using fields, but there are none defined for it or all are excluded. Um, that's here in the row style and style settings. I'm going to change that to node for now. And I'm going to display links and show all of my uh, content in the teaser mode. And now I'm going to save my default. And I'm going to create a block to put in my main body on the publication page. I'm just going to refresh the page so that that block shows up. And here's the display here. So this is a whole other pane um, that are just specifically about this one block. So I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it the publications main body. And I'm also going to give it in these block settings here an admin name. This is what uh, will be in my block user interface so that I can drag and drop it around into the different regions of my theme. Now when I hit save, and close out of here and go to my blocks administration area. I see I have my publications main body listed here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the content section and save my blocks. And on my publications main page, I now have a list of all of my publications. This list of publications is great for the publications main page, but if I want a sidebar block that has all my publications, this would just be too much information. So I'm going to go back and create another display of the same view for my sidebar. I can go to this edit link here to jump straight to my publication view. So now I'm going to add another display for my sidebar block. And I'll add a name that will show up in my vertical tabs to the left, so it makes it easier to organize your views if you have names for all of them.
And I'll also add the admin name in my block settings again, just so that I can drag and drop it around in my block administration area. And now because I just want to have selected fields in my block in the sidebar instead of my node, I'm going to change this row style from node to fields. But I don't want to change it for my entire default view. I want to change it just for this one specific block, so I'm going to override it. And now, see, it's now it is just in regular case, it's not italicized. Anything that's italicized is inherited from the default, but anything that is in regular um, not italicized text is specific to this, this display. So I'm going to now go and change this to fields since it's overridden. I'm going to change it to fields and update it. I'm going to pick some fields that I'm going to display. So here I want to display the node title. And there are lots of options here. In future screencasts, I'll cover more of them. But right now, I'm just going to link this field to its node. So this will provide a link to the publication page. And I also want to add I want to add a field, which is the file download. I'm going to show all my downloads in the sidebar block. And I'm just going to use a generic file formatter here, and that will give me the link to the file. And now I'm going to save that. And I go back to my blocks administration. And here's my publication sidebar. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the sidebar. And now when I refresh, here are my publications. They don't look pretty, but um, it has all of my publications. And here we have the labels like we did in the when we created content in the last screencast. We can get rid of those too. If we go here, we can remove this label or we can change it to something else. And notice that now there's no gray italicized text next to this field. Uh, to this field. That's because this gray italici italicized text is the actual label that's going to be used. So I'm going to remove that from the fields file download as well and update that and save. And now you see it has my publications here. Um, they're still not so pretty. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell which information is associated with which publication. So I'm going to go back in here and edit it again, go to my publication sidebar. And for the style settings, I'm going to use, instead of unformatted, I'm going to use an HTML list. And I'm just going to use an unordered list and update that. And now I have bullets that make it a little clearer to see which publication file goes with which publication title. So that's it for views for today. I will cover more views features in the future. But you should be able to get started now. You should be able to create a view with multiple displays, use both the node and field row styles, and when you're using the field row styles, you should be able to change the display of your field rows. Uh, and you should also be able to change the way that the list is output. You can change it to an HTML list, or you can look at some of the other options, such as grid or table. Views is one of the most powerful tools in your toolbox, so take some time and have fun playing around with it.